The Avenger Air Defense System is an American self-propelled surface-to-air missile system that offers short-ranged cellular air protection for ground system in opposition to cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, low-flying fixed-wing aircraft, and helicopters. The Avenger was once at the beginning developed for the United States Armed Forces and is presently in carrier with the U.S. Army. The Avenger system is also used by using the U.S. Marine Corps. The Avenger comes particularly in three configurations, basic, slew to cue, and up gun. The simple configuration consisted of a gyro-stabilized air protection turret established on a modified heavy Humvee. The turret has two Stinger missile launch pods, every successful of firing up to four fire and forget infrared or ultraviolet guided missiles simultaneously. The Avenger can be interfaced with the Forward Area Air Defense Command, Control, Communications, and Intelligence System, which permits monitoring and external radar messages to be surpassed to fireplace devices to warn and sign the gunner. The slew to cue subsystem approves the commander or gunner to choose pursuits set from the FAA DC-3I. Once a goal is selected, the turret can be robotically aimed immediately at the goal with restrained interplay with the aid of the gunner. The Upgun Avenger used to be mainly developed for the 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment for the regiment's 2005 deployment to Iraq. The changes are designed to enable the Avenger to perform unit and asset defense in addition to its air protection missions. The proper missile pod was eliminated and the M3P 12.7mm Cal Computing Device gun was moved to the previous pod position. This allowed the removal of the turret cab security margin, permitting the gun to furnace at once in the front of the HMMWV. Eight of the Avengers units have been modified for this configuration. With the switch of the third ACR from Iraq, the upgun Avenger achieved its function in Operation Iraqi Freedom, and the Avengers had been scheduled to be converted again to the STC system. Boeing is working with Schwartz Brothers PLC to provide the Avenger gadget in which one Stinger pod is changed by using a pod of four Starstreak hypervelocity laser-guided missiles in hopes of withdrawing the U.S. Army contract. Beneath the Air Defense System's forward line-of-sight rear area program, Test installations carried out in mid-1990 and test firings observed from mid-1991 in the UK Starstreak would equip the Stinger by means of growing the system's usual capacity to deal with low-hovering helicopters, which frequently did not furnish enough contrast for engagement by infrared missiles. Starstreaks also have the capacity to be used in opposition to unarmored and gently armored floor vehicles. In the 1990s, Boeing teamed up with Matra of France to provide a modified Avenger changing the widespread triple launch box for the Matra Mistral missile in vicinity of the four instances the Stinger pod of the standard Avenger. One demonstrator car was constructed in 1992 and test firing was once carried out in France. The project was once cancelled round 1997. Due to the lack of a serious air risk for most of the Iraq war, along with the urgent want for ground belongings for fight roles such as convoy protection, the Avenger used to be pressed for this role. The FLIR or laser rangefinder coupled to the 12.7mm Cal laptop gun proved noticeably effective, however was once restrained by no-fire zones, specifically at the, the front of the vehicle. A software used to be instituted to eliminate one of the missile pods and cross the computer gun into that position to activate a 360 degrees discipline of fire. The approve additionally will increase the ammo ability to 650 rounds. Another doable variant proposed by means of Boeing is the Avenger with directed energy weapon. Boeing completes initial checks of a 1 kilowatt laser mounted in region of the applicable missile pod. The 12.7mm M3P has been changed with the aid of the M242 Bushmaster as a close defense weapon. A test fire demonstration of this variant occurred in 2004. 
It was modified by way of relocating the M3P desktop gun above the turret cab to enable a 360-degree discipline of fire, growing the machine gun's ready-to-use ammunition storage to 600 rounds, and providing the alternative to exchange the launcher with two missiles. FGM-148 Javelin replaces one Stinger pod. In February 2012, Raytheon was awarded a contract to advance the AI-3, a modified AIM-9 Sidewinder missile established on an Avenger launcher, to function counter-rocket, artillery, mortar, counter-unmanned aerial car, and counter-cruise missile duty. In 2013, the U.S. Army decided now not to buy the system. In August 2014, the machine successfully intercepted a UAV and a target cruise missile providing a semi-active homing seeker radar in a test. Boeing has proposed that the Avenger PMS turret could be mounted on other motors such as Unimog trucks, BV-206 all-terrain vehicles, M113 APCs, and M548 tracked cargo carriers as properly as used as a stationary ground mount on pallets for defense. Of goal statistics, the PMS Avenger has been demonstrated with a mock-up of two 70mm helicopter-type rocket pods carrying a complete of 36 rockets to provide a larger multi-mission utility system. Other missiles, such as the Bofors RBS 70 Slash Belide, have been proposed for use on the Avenger PMS. In March 2017, Boeing revealed a modernized Avenger device geared up with side mounted A 9X Sidewinder and Longbow Hellfire missiles and a top mounted directed electricity weapon. It is additionally planned to be integrated into other platforms, such as JLTV, Striker, and Bradley Fighting Vehicle. While Boeing had configured the Striker with the Avenger turret to meet the Army's interim maneuver short-range air defense requirements, the Army subsequently determined in opposition to the idea, feeling it required most important adjustments to the automobile and due to the fact of the company's wishes. For turret provisioning services, which are accessible in confined portions in inventory, during joint French-Egyptian naval exercises in 2017, the N-TDQ-1 Avenger was once established on the flight deck of the Mistral category amphibious assault helicopters to furnish ad hoc shut air defense. The ship used to be at the start slated to be offered to Russia, but the sale was once canceled due to global sanctions imposed on Russia following the annexation of Crimea. The ship was once sold to the Egyptian Navy besides a pre-planned Russian air protection system. 